what is up guys welcome back and we uh got to talk about something here so we got battles of legend chapter one dual daddy provided all of the cards i think that were uh, released in this set that uh he saw going through youtubers unboxing it because there are some youtubers that have early access to this set and um i don't know if it's it's the complete set to be honest because now i'm looking at set size as 163 and i don't know if there's 163 cards in in here so let's kind of see if we can do a quick uh, math check here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh so that's 50 right here 50 100 and then 150 plus some change so actually that might be it um actually let's see how much the change is here so that's 63 yeah 163 in total holy shit okay so that's in a, that was an aside guys because i thought i was holding out hope that there was going to be some cards nodding that were not yet pulled that we can look forward to but in and of itself, this set kind of seems like a disappointment to me. And that's coming from a hero player. Like, coming from a hero player, I do like that we're getting more reprints for hero stuff and some stuff in higher rarity. Elemental Hero Stratos is a secret rare. Really cool. We're also getting the alternate arts of Stratos, that you, if you guys can see right here. And um, we're also getting some Ubel stuff, Cyber Dragon stuff that we don't necessarily need reprinted, to be honest. Like, the edgy Cyber Dragon art has been reprinted to death already, so it's not really exciting. It's not really new. It's really just kind of annoying at this point. And then Cyber Dragon just has been printed every single year for, like, the past three years or something like this. These, these cards... Maybe the the exclusion being some actual hard to get hero cards are not that expensive, so putting them in this set kind of feels weird. This set feels like a GX, a nod to the GX fans, right? We have Ubel, we have heroes, we have Cyber Dragons, and then we also have Light Swords, which came out in the GX era. That is cool and all, but I mean, there's stuff missing in here, man. I mean. For example, and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make sure I am. In, I'm not. I'm not incorrect on this assumption. But no, I do not see my boy. I don't see Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which was printed in a Battle of Legends set, Light's Revenge, which in particular is mentioned in this set, and that is missing. That is a notable exclusion. The the card is actually pretty expensive it's about i think the cheapest option is about five bucks so it did need a reprint and that's really one of the examples that i'm going to use to say that this set is confusing because there's there's hero stuff there's a shitload of hero stuff but a lot of the hero stuff in here didn't really need that much printing. I mean, the, the stuff that did need printing actually didn't get printed. For example, we haven't gotten the new Flame Wingman reprinted since, um, what was it, Power of the Elements, or I think that was the set name. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that hasn't been printed and it's been like a year and a half so why was it not included it would have been a really nice secret rare in this set the other thing that i'm seeing here is that there is no quarter century rare there were some people claiming that it was gonna there was gonna be quarter century rare cards in this set because uh of the 25th anniversary stamp on the box that is incorrect and they jumped the gun i kind of knew i mean come on why would they put quarter century rares in this box right it's just it just doesn't make sense but now that we have confirmation it's also like what the hell am i gonna why am i gonna buy this box instead of waiting for re literally any other product there's cool reprints like i said there, i mean ubel being reprinted is awesome because ubel was pretty expensive and the judgment dragon slash light sworn stuff being printed in, in here again is pretty cool because we're going to get more light sworn support in the in the future in like five months or some shit like that but why in battles of legend chapter one they could have just not done this set and they could have just done done like a, a nod to gx right so we've had legendary collection 2 we could have gotten that reprinted with some quarter century rares we could have gotten um we've gotten the raw yellow mega pack right why, why not the obelisk blue mega pack like there's so many different options and those again could have gotten quarter century rare cards and a lot of gx fanboys me included would have been excited to get quarter century rares of stratos 
uh, Absoluto Zero, all the U Bell stuff. But not, instead, they they sh- they shafted the GX guys and they shafted the Battles of Legend crew. And they, they gave us, like, this shitty-ass set that I don't even know what the purpose of the set is. Like, yeah, it's reprinting Cyber Slash Harpy, which was, like, a $20 card or something like that. But it wasn't even printed in a Battle of Legends set. It was printed in uh, Legendary Duelist Season 2, I believe, as an import, as uh, as a promo in that box. So what is the point of this set? It's not really an homage to Battles of Legend. I guess you can say there. I mean, heroes were printed a lot in in all these Le- battle legend type sets, but Ubel wasn't included in that. So again, so it's it's kind of like they're trying to shoehorn in the GX nostalgia with the with the battles of legend nostalgia, and we get this crap. <laughs> I I really don't understand this set. Harpy's perfumer is in here as well for some reason. I mean, it was it's a ten. It was. It's probably like a $5 card now. It was a $10 card, but that's not really expensive, especially for Harpies, which, who the hell is playing Harpies? This set just doesn't make sense. And let me know in the comments. Like, do you think, do you guys think this set makes sense? Because to me, it doesn't make sense. So now we're going to answer the question, should you buy this set? And I mean, I'm looking at stuff, right? Uh, Neo's, Neo's wise. I'm going to call out the stuff that is good. All the kaijus are good. Getting those reprinted because chances are they're not going to be printed again. Like, it's kind of hard to shoehorn in the kaijus and other sets. So, might as well pick them up in Ultra Rare Printing when this is out. Cool. We got the Astral um, Utopia. I guess that's cool for collectors, but it's an Ultra Rare. Do you really want the Ultra Rare? You're going to go and get the super shiny one from the OG Battle of Legends set. I forgot which one it was, but it was in one in, in an older Battle of Legends set. I, but I guess it, it's cool. The Ubel stuff, really good. And the militia the Destiny Hero Militias is an ultra rare is actually kind of cool as well. I also did mention the Stratos, which I find awesome. But then there's other stuff in here, like the Harpy stuff doesn't really make sense. They could have just done something else released another product and and done something else with that. Which there is I, I mean there's time because right now if we look at the time frame, once this is released, we're not getting anything related to the uh, the actual TCG because this is Speed Duel stuff, right? March, April, Speed Duel stuff. Late April, we are getting Legacy of Destruction, but that's late April. So that's going to be about two months hiatus the TCG is going to. And that's pretty crazy. They could have done another set. They could have done the homage to GX could have done the Obelisk Blue set or whatever they want to call it, and got it giving us some quarter century bears. And then they could have done Battles of Legend with a smaller pool of cards and then reprinted the stuff that people actually wanted from those sets. Now, I guess continuing on, it, it is really nice that they have uh, the Chaos dude here. But the thing is, these a lot of these cards are expensive not because they see play, it's because they didn't have reprints. So th- this, again, this set doesn't really make sense from a collector perspective. I don't think anyone's really buying this as a collector piece. I don't think uh, meta people are going to be playing it besides maybe the the kaijus, getting the kaijus. And, I mean, Ubel might be a little bit roguish, but you can just buy the singles, right? You, 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 don't, you don't need to buy a box of this. You can just buy the singles. So collectors are out. Meta players are out. Nostalgia people, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of hero stuff, a lot of Ubel stuff. I mean, not a lot of Cyber Dragon stuff for all the guff that I gave it. We are missing Cyber Infinity Dragon or whatever the hell's his name is. Uh, even Infinite Impermanence would have been kind of nice in here. I mean, it, it is a Cyber Dragon card technically. I mean, Cyber Dragon is in, in the artwork, I mean. And then if you are looking for high high rarity staples, all the Light Sworns are commons. So it's like well, there, there's nothing there. And then they're shoehorning in so many cards that just don't need printing. All the Vision heroes don't need printing. They just got printed in, in a box, wasn't it? Like Ghost from the Past 2 or something like that. They don't need printing. They also missed out on Forest, it seems like. And um, is Increase in here? Oh, Increase is in here. Okay. But Forest is notably missing from what I can tell. And it could be because it was reprinted in the Rarity Collection. We don't need it reprinted. I'm just saying it's kind of weird. That again, so they're, they're they're trying to make it a Battles of Legend reprint set, but they're missing cards from Battles of Legend, including cards that were never in Battles of Legend. It just doesn't make sense. So again, 
the collectors are out. There's nothing to collect in here. The meta players are out. There's really nothing meta that you can't buy for like a dollar after release. And then we have the nostalgia players, which maybe, but if you are really a nostalgia player, then you better be a hero slash GX nostalgia guy or else this set is going to bomb. And even then, it's missing a lot of key stuff from the GX era. So it's not really a nostalgia set. So who the hell is this set for, right? All in all, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like this set sucks. And I don't think you should be buying this set. Now, you can go ahead and do whatever the hell you want with your money. But I'm not going to be buying too many boxes of this. I might buy like a case or what is it called? A, a display, which is about 100 bucks, and you get whatever, like eight mini boxes or something like that. I might do that for the channel, but that's because I have a channel. You guys that don't have any uh, need to open up sealed product, do not open up this sealed product. Just let it sit on the shelves. Let other people, stupider than yourself like myself, open up the product, and then we will sell you the stuff for really cheap because we will lose a lot of money essentially opening this. I guess there's also the fossil stuff if you want to go with the nostalgia stuff, but it's not even good and then we have, I mean, Phantom, the Phantom Fog Blade is a pretty good reprint, but I, I don't know, man. I guess I'm just trying to make, like, uh, I'm trying to make, uh, I'm trying to be positive, and there's not much to be positive, because a lot of this stuff just, just didn't need printing. Sunrise didn't need a reprint, um, although there was, oh, wasn't that on the front page? I will say, this is, this Infernal Hero, or Extra Hero Infernal Divisor, really good reprint but just a weird weird set to reprint it and they could have done a gx nostalgia set uh legendary duelist or legendary collection not duelist right legendary collection uh two reprint like they did with the with the og one or the first one they did last year they could have done that they didn't do that and now they are gonna suffer do not buy this set guys see ya Thank <laughs> you.